Well, you can see that the air quality still looks pretty bad up here in our location. We're only about five miles away from downtown San Jose, yet you can hardly see all of the buildings. You can see that a lot of that smoke still hanging around, and people on the ground are feeling it. Smoke from wildfires in Washington, Oregon, and Northern California hangs close to the ground. The tiny particles in the air collectively blocking out the sun and the views and working their way into our bodies. You get this heavy feeling in your chest and it's not allergies. These friends came out for some exercise in Campbell and felt the effects. It's hard to exercise. It's hard to go on a walk, walk your dog, ride your bike. It's hard to eat outside. Uh, hard to leave your doors and windows open when this yeah. heat. Um, so it's a shame, but again, you know, we're not the ones trying to fight the fires. The Bay Area Air Quality Management District issued another spare the air alert today, advising people to stay indoors. We're looking at uh, unhealthy air quality down at ground level. We think it'll be in the orange, unhealthy for sensitive groups category. But many came out anyway, including this man who pushed hard up Alum Rock Avenue on his bike with a bad air fully in view. Uh, I can smell it a little bit. I'm not feeling it. Some of the restaurant tables in downtown Campbell were full, others not so much. Organizers of the town's book music festival which was postponed because of COVID and now scheduled for this weekend are hoping the air quality won't keep people away. I'm hoping that the wind kicks in a little bit tonight and shifts a little bit. Masks are optional at the festival but preferred now for a couple of reasons. It'll give potentially people more of a reason to put on their masks if they didn't want to. So the hope is to have fun and be safe. And as I mentioned, the spare the air alert is still in effect for today, Friday, but the Bay Area Air Quality Management District has changed that to a spare the air advisory for tomorrow, so conditions are expected to improve on Saturday and Sunday. Reporting live here in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.